In this quick video, we'll take a look at how to set up the new Notify feature which was introduced in version 2020 R2. The Notify technology enables user notifications across the system. Notifications, which are messages or emails, can be automatically triggered or manually sent between users in the reporting web portal. If you'll be using the Notify to send emails, your email settings should first be enabled under the report properties of any report. Please refer to the user manual or tech notes for SMTP mail server configuration. We can get to the Notifier configuration from either the Project or the Tools toolbar in Studio. Here I've opened the Project's general settings and then we'll go to the Notification section. I'll enable Notifications and if I'm also using the Audit Trail feature, I can set the option to have the Notifier log its events to the Project's Audit Trail. Two other settings we have here are how long a pop-up message will be visible on the web portal. The default is 10 seconds and also the maximum number of messages in a web user's mailbox. In my example, I'd like to send out a notification if the energy consumed to produce a batch in this batch report exceeds 500 kilowatts. This calculation here. So I'll click the configure button to open the configuration window. This is where we'll define our various notifications specify the conditions under which they're triggered, and format the messages and choose the recipients. I'll name the event and give it an optional description. Next, I need to specify the trigger for the notification. This can either be based on a simple expression evaluating one or more values, or a more complex logical expressions with if-then statements. I'll click the Select Data Item button, choose the Internal System Runtime Item Driver, which exposes all internal calculations and system parameters in a project, select the batch report, and then the energy usage calculation on the report, where I'll evaluate it being greater than 500. I'll select the project users or user groups who will receive this notification. Next, I'll enter the message body. This can either be static text or text combined with dynamic data. Here, I'll click the Select Data Item button so that I can include the batch ID that this notification relates to. And the calculated kilowatts value from the report. The last part of the definition is to specify the notification targets. These can be both messages sent to selected users above, who will receive the messages in their inbox, or as a pop-up on the web portal or to email recipients if email has been defined in the project. Finally, I'll add the definition to the list of messages. I could, of course, create many more notifications based on different conditions. I'll save and reload the project, and then log into the web portal as the user Andy. Let's say Andy was watching data on a live web dashboard. Behind the scenes, a batch report is automatically generated at the end of a batch. It just so happens that the calculated energy usage exceeded 500 kilowatts, so a notification is sent to the named recipients. Since Andy happened to be logged into the portal at that time, a message pops up on the screen with the information from the batch. At the same time, his mailbox shows one new message. By default, the pop-up message will disappear after 10 seconds, but Andy can still go to the inbox to read the message. He now wants to review the report, so we'll click on the batch report in the reports list. After reviewing the report, he wants to share it with one of his team members. Going back to the mailbox, he clicks the new message, selects one or more recipients, types in a message, and then clicks the icon to attach the PDF report to his message, and then sends it. Now let's log into the portal as Alexa. Alexa sees she has a new message in her mailbox. She clicks on her unread messages, and there's the message from Andy. She reads his message, and opens the PDF report that he attached. Clicking on the All Messages tab, here she sees both the automated notification from when the energy exceeded 500 kilowatts earlier, and the message from Andy. 
Alexa now opens the dynamic web report to look at the live tank data. Something catches her eye here, so wants to let a few of her coworkers know to look at this web page. She clicks New Message, selects the recipients, enters her message, and then also clicks the attachment icon. Even though this is not a generated PDF report, it will still send the link to the web page. The last person to log in is Marie. She also finds a new message in her mailbox, so clicks to read it, and then clicks the link sent to her. This opens the web report and she now looks at the live dashboard. One last thing to look at is email. If you remember when we created the original notification definition, we selected both internal users and email as recipients. I'll open my email, and there in my email inbox is an email from Dream Report with a dynamic message regarding the batch energy usage. We hope you enjoy sharing information and collaborating with your coworkers. Thanks for watching.